But now, O Lord, thou art the, our father. We are the clay and thou our potter. And we are all the work of thy hand. Amen. The making of a vessel unto honor. I want to encourage you from the viewpoint of a potter and from his heart about the making of the vessel unto honor. And I want us to see three things quickly before I sit down that is from my heart as I thought about this. When I think about the potter, I think of his power, I think of his passion, and I think of his purpose. His power, of course, he's all powerful over the clay. It's just, uh, hath not the potter, hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make a vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? It's, you don't even have to think about it. Isaiah says, yea, before the day was, I am he. There is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work. And who will let it? Who's actually going to hinder God? Who's going to hinder? What clay can actually hinder God? God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth to God. When I walk into the studio, that clay is powerless, right? It's, it's laying there. It has to have me. It has to have me. A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. For without me, ye can do nothing. Amen. The clay is helpless without the power of the potter. Then his passion, the potter's consuming passion. He's all concerned. He's so careful. He's so deliberate. He so knows and feels and understands exactly what's going on. How much preparation that he's already put into it before it ever dreamed of becoming a vessel. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsetting and mine uprising, and understandest my thought afar off. Thou compasseth, compasseth my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but, O oh Lord, Thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid Thine hand upon me. It's just His profession. God is a potter. He allows himself to be explained. He says, you want to understand something about me? Look at the potter. This is how I want you to understand something about me. And one thing that you need to understand is that the potter is so passionately for the clay. God is for us. Some of us feel like God's against us. But you've got to be kidding. I, I, watched a, I watched a little video about these Indian ladies making these beautiful pots. And their pots sell for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And one got messed up a little bit and she was talking about it and she started crying. And I, I, as a potter, I felt what she was crying about. It was interesting. I don't think I have... Uh, I think that it's amazing how God must care about us. So God's totally concerned. He's intimate. He's completely occupied with you. The potter has a predestinated purpose for the clay. Now listen, he has a purpose. I have a purpose. When I sit down, I had a purpose. I knew how big it could be, how tall it could be, how wide it could be, and exactly what I would do. According as... The eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. He has previously determined a destination for us before we ever dreamed of getting saved. To, okay, here's, here's what it is. Here's his predetermined predestination for your life. You are to be created unto good works. You don't even have to think about it. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Amen. That, that's a bowl. It's going to hold something. It has a good work to do. Which God hath before ordained that we should walk in it. It is foreordained, predestined that when you get saved, when you get dug out of that pit, you are going to be a good work for God. He will perform it. And the second thing is to conform to His image for whom He did foreknow. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son that, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. It's, it's just, you should just understand 
You're going to be conformed to the image of Christ when you get saved. You're going to do good works and you will be conformed to His Son. And then the last thing, uh, you are called to glory. When you get saved, this is a done deal. You will be glorified in the end. You are called to glory. Moreover, whom He did predestinate, them He also called. There's many callings, many things that He does with, with us. And whom He called... Then he also justified, and whom he justified, then he also glorified. He will make you glorious. It's the plan. It's the plan. It will happen, and I can confidently say that. So what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? It's a done deal. As the potter, I am all-powerful over my clay. It's just, I don't have to think about it. I'm all-powerful over these vessels. My passion is all-consuming for them, and my purpose is for them to be all that I want them to be. I will make them what I want them to be because I'm all-powerful, and I have a plan, and I am all-powerful. We'll go into the plan now. I want to explain some of his plan. He knows how to handle you, pick you up, move you around. He, he can do that. It's a little scary sometimes when God takes us up, moves us around, but he can do it. So we're going to look at the making of a vessel unto honor. And it goes like this. The potter has a sovereign plan. Don't be afraid of that. He's going to save. He's going to sanctify, shape, strengthen, and send out his earthen vessels. That's his plan. It's not his will that any should perish. Man, the clay's part, simply has a responsibility. That responsibility is very simple. Just yield to the potter. Just yield... He's in control. So uh, the first responsibility is simply to answer the call. Answer the calls that God has during different stages. There's different callings. You have to understand, God is working. He's sovereign. But He gives us a responsibility to answer calls while He's working. And then the second thing is by taking on the characteristics or the character qualities that the potter is working into this. I have, I have brought this clay a long way already that you don't know about to get it here. I know what's in its substance. I know how many clays and I know its parents. I know that this clay has been prepared. Amen. It's been prepared. You're getting it. I'm so glad you're getting it. Amen. Amen. 